people. Welcome to Follow by Death Chapter 2. One of the most powerful phenomena in the world. The power to live forever. This is beautiful! My god, this is good. This is good. I like this. Oh no, I don't like this. Uh. Oh god. The horror. No? Leave her! Yeah! Oh shit! What? What? What did I miss? Who am I? What? I should run. I don't know about that. Oh shit, I should run. Come on, go. Go, no, wrong way. Go, 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 go. Yeah! I gotta run. I gotta run. I got this. I believe in myself. Where? Oh, there it is. Yes. Fuck yes. Yeah, suck it, bitch. So, chapter two. Yeah, yeah. I've been waiting to play this. I have. It was actually a really good custom story. Uh, Chapter 1 then, of course, followed by the F chapter 1. It was a really good one. But chapter 2 is something special. <laughs> well, the loading time is sure as hell special. <sighs> oh, thank you. Okay. Hello. The story of Followed by Death continues. Oh, yeah, hey, let's go even oh my lord. I don't know. I I don't I don't think I have any lantern or anything like that Hello, ah damn it. Why would I do that? I'm stupid God damn it beer cake. God damn it. Okay, what's up here? Indeed, oh I have a lantern sweet, but I need more oil, in case. Ooh. Enough. I don't think there's anything here. No. Let's just run. Because I can run. Ooh. A piece of paper. Ooh. A piece of paper. Hello? Ooh. A piece of paper. What is that? Oh, it's rain. Okay. I think. Our task has not really been irritating, but maybe a little bit frustrating. I want to maintain my authority, but it is becoming more difficult every moment. Shut up! My servants, David, William and Henry, still do my bidding, but no longer seem very eager to follow my orders. No one wants to follow- I must admit that oh. I'm a very lucky man to have come across this book I found some years I ago. I think I fucked up. I had arranged a meeting with a man who had told me about some very interesting things. Books and tomes concerning topics that people dare only whisper about. Things that frighten many but could be very useful for an influential man like myself. No. Such a man would find those books very valuable indeed. Indeed, it's quite. <laughs> oh, quite indeed. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, have some bacon with that. No, no bacon. Fuck bacon. Huh. Oh, the Lord. Oh, I'm not doing what? I'm not sure what I'm doing. Huh. Nice table. I like it. It feels like... Oh, you motherfucker. Come back here. Why am I walking so slowly? Hello? Why am I like... Hello? Oh! Another note! The books arrived in a nondescript chest. I anxiously opened the container. But I was quickly disappointed by the contents of it. I read some of the texts, and they were plain, bland, and useless. Aww. It felt like almost everything in the chest were just a couple of dull paintings and peasant horror stories, which seemed to serve no purpose. Aww. But after a couple of years, 
I reconsidered and decided to take a look once more at its contents. There was one book that caught my eye as soon as I saw it. The name of this mystic tome was simply The Rebirth, written by Andrew Daniels. Fuck Andrew Wise Daniels. Man who was considered one of the greatest wizards of his time. Wizards? His words of wisdom, and likely the key to his powers, lie in this book. I'm the only wizard around here. What is this? I can't be. No, I can't be challenged. I don't like this. One does not simply challenge the bear cake wizard. No, I must put a stop to this atrocity. Son of a bitch. Ooh. The hallways have collapsed. I need to go around. Okay. Sure. Nothing's bad gonna happen, right? Totally not, bro. Totally not. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Oh my god, my son is up there. My god. This is not good. I don't feel like rescuing him though because he's a dumbass. He's a yeah, he's a disappointment. I now possess the book of the rebirth, and with it, I will soon possess its power. Oh. The book tells about the great curse, a ritual of the damned which grants people immortality, but at the cost of turning them into mindless beasts. Oh my According god. According to the book, the great curse can be cheated in such a way that you gain the power to live forever without any negative side effects. I've been studying this book for a long time now, and I am certain that what the book says can be done. I have shown these texts to David, who has confirmed them to be accurate. Now the four of us venture into the dungeons of my castle, where we can perform the Grey Curse in an alternative way. You son of a- Why did that chair do that? I don't like it. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that has the power to stop them. Or they've already done it and they're mindless beasts. Like, means grunts. Oh my god in fucking heaven. No, I don't want to go up against that guy. I don't like him one freaking bit. I don't like him. Nope, don't like him. But I'm gonna go after him. Oh, he just went... Yeah, okay. Seems legit. What do we have here? Okay. Oh, flashback. Is this really necessary? Something in this feels really fishy to me. Fishy? Of course it is necessary. Otherwise we wouldn't be here. You shouldn't be so paranoid all the time, William. You said that there's still a long way to go. How big is this castle anyway? I don't know. My ancestors built this castle a long time ago. Its deepest dungeons have not been seen by a living soul for some time now. Well, I have to say, this castle is really impressive considering that it was built so long ago. Yes, I also find this castle very impressive indeed. Don't you think- Oh yes, quite! Oh, ho ho ho! Good. Fuck off, Jesus! The old elevator to reach the lowest levels of this castle. This way. Okay, let's just go down then, because that is obviously what they want me to do. Because that is the only obvious solution to head to the tunnels. Francis was in front, leading the group alongside with Henry. William whispered to David's ear. Yes, play along. <laughs> That's how scary this shit is right here. Yeah, bitch. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. It has a good story. I like it. I'm just kidding. Of course, I hate it. I hate. I hate it. Totally. Yeah, bro. It's key. No, I like stories. I like bedtime stories. Okay, I can run normally, which is a good thing. The door won't open and the lock appears broken. I mean, look, look, okay. I need a crowbar. Son of a mother duck. The slimy red goo is blocking my path through the tunnel. Well, my mm. companion, that. There's nothing I can do about. I can't do shit about that. I'm sorry. I will have to go kill myself. Why am I hearing like birds and shit like that? Uh, I need a tool of great leverage. Please. Hold your orgasms. Please. Please. That. Ah, ah. Okay. Anything here? No. 
Shut up, Bertie! God damn it! Close! I don't need that. That is. Where is the tool of great leverage and power? I don't know. I'm gonna go back. Hold on. First of all, there we go. Now it's pretty. Yay. I will have to find probably a crowbar from uh, the top floor over there, uh, which I'll have to use on that door. Which will lead me further into my quest of finding my true love. Not Steve, of course. He can fuck off. Steve is an asshole. God damn. He's a pervert as well, if you didn't know that. He's like the biggest pervert alive. The living room. The book that Francis held had some interesting carvings on the front. Francis had it. Well hidden. God damn it. Francis! Francis! God damn it, boy! Son of a bitch! Ugh. Psycho shit! Okay. I should uh, check the living room for usual blah blah. Okay. Uh huh. No, no, no. Okay, I don't give a shit. Oh, flowers! Oh, the door's locked. I will need to find a key. <sighs> Anything in here? No. Aha! My memory is getting rather discontinuous again. I can't remember things back at home too well anymore. When I return, I have to tell my brother I'm sorry. He's a good brother, and not a thief. I want to be friends with him again. I guess the pressure of my past is starting to burden me once more. Ooh. Okay. If you say so. Oh, yeah, so. Woo! Uh. Oh, the Bible. Okay, you and me, Bible. Fuck everything. Oh, it's open. Thank you for unlocking that for me. Hey! I recognize this music. But I can't put my finger on it. Oops. There we go. No problem. Uh-huh. And there we go. There we go. Ow, that fucking hurt. Son of a bitch. Fudge, pepper, stuff. I don't know. Okay. Library. Yes. Oh, God, no. Do you really think it's true? Can we somehow carry out the ritual of the Great Curse? I think with Francis on our side, we'll figure out something. Francis? What's wrong? I don't trust him. It feels like he's not the same man as me. Okay, well, he's gonna kill you. So, I don't give a shit. No, not my problem, bitch. Being in the company of Francis has always been beneficial, but he seems to be too eager in his plans of late. I can't help but think he will lead us all to our deaths. Henry has always been very loyal to Francis and won't question his orders. I don't understand his motives. Henry never even turns his eyes towards us, or even says a word. Unless Francis is around. I think he's hiding something. Henry and Francis both. But as for me and David, we'll stop those two if they even try to double-cross us. Okay, that is interesting. I should use a Russian voice or something like that. Yeah, probably. But I'm actually gonna edit here, so thank you for watching! There we go. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Freeze! Oh. No, the door closed! Oh. 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 no! 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 Necessary Gaming, all of its directors and partners are part of the Necessary Network. To learn more, please visit youtube.com slash the Necessary Network.